Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a comprehension passage taken from the June 2015 paper. The passage is about Bermuda. Stay tuned. Items 49 to 55. Instructions. Read the following advertisement carefully and then answer items 49 to 55 on the basis of what is stated or implied. Bermuda. Before you, blue water all the way to Morocco. Behind you, every care you ever had. Bermuda is the different island. It basks here in mid-ocean, remote, apart, unlike any other place. What little island do you know with dazzling white roofs to catch the rain, with pastel houses cut from coral rocks set in tropical green? Only Bermuda. What other island is ringed with such different beaches, some wide and smooth, others with tiny coves hidden in cliffs waiting just for you? What other island can you roam on foot, by ferry, motorbike or carriage, stopping for a wayside picnic or to explore a vast cavern underground? Only Bermuda. Only one island of 21 square miles has 21 golf courses. Only one faraway island lets you skin dive in ancient Spanish shipwrecks or snorkel on a coral reef. Fish for Wahoo, Alice and Tuna, or Willy Bonefish, or dine on rockfish chowder and syllabub then dance the night away with the Limbo, Calypso, or whichever. Bermuda, far away, long ago, old world, and 90 jet minutes from New York. Children love Bermuda, and vice versa. Bring the family. Ask your travel agent in the US or Canada, or write Bermuda, 610 5th Avenue, New York, 10020, number 6 Michigan Avenue, Chicago, 60602. Now let's answer the questions. Question 49. The expression, basque hair in mid-ocean, line 4, implies that A. In Bermuda, the sun never sets. B. Bermudians live a life of luxurious ease. C. Sunbathing is the chief activity of tourists. D. Bermuda's position exposes it to the full rays of the sun. The word basque means to lie exposed to warmth and light, typically from the sun for relaxation and pleasure. Therefore, the expression basque hair in mid-ocean implies that Bermuda's position exposes it to the full rays of the sun. So your answer is D. Question 50. The use of the phrases Bermuda, far away, long ago, Old World, line 22, in this advertisement, attempts to create the impression that Bermuda, A, is somewhat backward in spite of its beauty, B, has remained unchanged and unspoiled by technology, C, is difficult to get to because it lies way out in mid-ocean, or D, is a very distant place inhabited by people of an ancient civilization. The advertisement presents Bermuda as an old-fashioned place. 
The term old world is used to describe places or things that are or seem to be from an earlier period in history and look interesting or attractive. The advertisement attempts to create the impression that Bermuda has remained unchanged and unspoilt by technology. So your answer is B. Question 51. Which of the following statements is an opinion rather than a fact? Is it A. Bermuda boasts as many golf courses as its area. B. Bermuda is surrounded by different types of beaches. C. There is a variety of means of transport offered on the island. Or D. The architectural structure of Bermudian houses is attractive. A fact is a statement that can be proven true. An opinion is what you think. So the opinion is the architectural structure of Bermudian houses is attractive. It is an opinion because not everyone may share this view. Question 52. From reading the advertisement, one can draw all of the following conclusions about Bermuda except A. Bermudians are engaged chiefly in fishing and golfing. B. Bermuda is an attractive little island nestling in mid-ocean. C. Visitors to Bermuda have no difficulty getting around the island. Or D. Tourists visiting Bermuda are offered a variety of interesting activities. We cannot draw the conclusion that Bermudians are engaged chiefly in fishing and golfing. The advertisement did not say that those activities were mainly done in Bermuda. Therefore, the answer is A. Question 53. Which of the following techniques of persuasion does the writer use in this extract? Is it A. Emphasis on Bermuda's tropical climate? B. Appeal to the tourist's desire for comfort? C. Specific examples of Bermuda's attractiveness? Or D. Comparison with other places to highlight Bermuda's attractiveness. The extract uses specific examples of Bermuda's attractiveness. Some of these examples are dazzling white roofs, pastel houses, different beaches, golf courses, vast caverns, among others. So the answer is C. Question 54. Which of the following aspects of Bermuda is emphasized? Is it A. Cleanliness B. Uniqueness C. Remoteness or D. Spaciousness Bermuda's uniqueness is emphasized. Evidence to support this can be found in the following lines. Question 55. Which of the following devices is used extensively in the passage? Is it A. Simile, B. Metaphor, C. Repetition, or D. Personification? The literary device used extensively in the passage is repetition. The following are extensively used throughout the advertisement. We've come to the end of another video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment down below, and subscribe. See you soon.